Hi, piano parents and hi, piano students. This is something that's causing some people some trouble, so we're going to go over it. This has to do with the chord inversions. So this is the C major chord right here. And we know that the C major chord has um, C, E, and G. C, E, and G are the notes that make up the C major chord. So you got to memorize that first. So a lot of times in class I'll ask you, how do you spell the C major chord? Make sure that you spell it right. It's C, E, and then G. All right, and that makes the C major chord. Now when we're gonna do an inversion, remember that is, uh, when we invert a chord, that means we're just changing the order. Think of it like ice cream, a Neapolitan ice cream. We have chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, but we could switch uh, which scoop you want on top. And so here we go, we have a C major chord. Let's make it the progression here. <clears throat> and so our notes are C, E, and G. Now what we gotta do next is we gotta bring that C up an octave to there. And that makes it, it's, notice it's still C, E, and G. It still has the same notes. Just a little different sound, but mostly the same. Now we have to invert it again to the second inversion. So this E goes up an octave to there. Okay, so now we still have C, E, and G, just in a different order. Now this G goes back above it, and now we have the C major chord in root position, back again, just like that. So it goes like that. Now we have to use the proper fingers. So with the right hand, in root position, it's finger one, three, and five. In second invert or in first inversion here, we're gonna use one, and here's the most important one, uh, important finger is finger number two. We're gonna use finger number two on G. Just memorize that. That's the only one that's different. So we have one, two and five on that one. Then we're gonna go up again. We have one, three, five, and bring that G up an octave, one, three, five. So all of it's the same, except for the first inversion. Memorize that. Now just do the right hand first, and that's all we want. Now we just want it in block chords, ascending and descending. And then after that, you want to make sure, you, if you're ready for the next step, we do broken. Okay, and we can go over that in our lesson. But most importantly, get the fingers right for the right hand. You could pause the video now, and now I'm going to show you the left hand. But go ahead and pause and make sure that you have this one down. If you have it down, we'll just go into the left hand. All right, so we talked about in the right hand that this is the one that we had used finger two on right there, on that one. So let's clear that out. For the left hand, we have this. It's the same thing, you know, C, E, G, and we keep on going up and up and up. For the left hand, this is 5-3-1, 5-3-1, 5-3-1, three, three, and this is the special chord inversion for the left hand, 5-2-1. Right here, we have finger 2 on the C, okay? So that's this one right, right here. That's finger 2. Hope that helps out. And then back up. All right, so we have, let's move that out of the way. All right, five, three, one, five, three, one, five, two, one. Most important one for the left hand. And then five, three, one. And just to double check, some of you forget this too. Remember, thumbs are always ones. Thumbs are always ones. So wiggle your ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. That way, you don't get confused with that. Hope that helps out. Practice those. Remember that 
block, ascending and descending, and then if you're ready for the next level, you could uh, do broken chords. All right. And then those of you advanced, of course, we're doing like two, four octaves, okay? All right. Hope that helps out. You guys have a good one. Bye.